so in this video i'm going to show you how to perform binary search program in python so it's a very simple one so let's get started so first we are just going to use here a list so we are going to get the number of elements of the list from the user and also the elements so first let n be the number of elements in, in equal to int of input enter number of elements so okay and less let's say close it so let a be the list over here it will be declare an empty list and for i in range going to be from 0 to n as index is index number of and list starts from 0 till n minus 1 so let n o be the elements present in the list so n o equal to int of input that's enough so each time when the i loop value gets incremented we will get a new n o and that n o will be automatically added to the list so it's going to be a dot append so append is nothing but a function that is used to add a new element into a list so it's going to be just append dot n o so this process is going to run n minus one times so we are going to get n minus one elements in our list so in order to check the check just print a print and see a so just a timely check and then number five it will be one two three four five another important thing i will tell you in binary search we always need to give a sorted array so it depends upon you i am here inputting a complete sorted array or if you are going to input an unsorted array you should first perform a sorting algorithm and sort the array and then give that sorting array as an input to the binary search function that's how it's going to work so now we have got the array and uh, next thing we are going to what we have, we have got the array we have got the size of the array next thing is the element to be searched so simply x is equal to int of input uh, enter the search what do we just search element enter search element that's x is going to search element so now we are just going to use a declare a function and uh, for to perform this binary search so the function could be at the top so it looks good and so let binary search be the name of the function and uh, it's going to take in uh, three parameters a x and n so a is going to be the array complete array or list so something we call x is going to be the search to be element to be searched n is going to be a size so a comma x comma n and inside the function first so in order to find the binary search works on the principle of finding the mid value eliminating the rest of elements again mid and eliminate until the we have, we have reached until the mid value equals to the element to be searched so mid is equal to x at the time the we will return the uh, 0 or 1 based on the so not 0 and 1 it's element is found or not that's pretty much simple so we need to find first low so low value is low index value of an array is always going to be zero and high so i is going to be maximum maximum index number present in and list so it's going to be n minus one good so now we are just going to give a while loop so why while loop means we are going to find multiple number of times the mid value so mid value is going to keep on changing and the best uh, loop function loop and uh, loop statement to do is while so the condition is just going to be while it's going to be lesser than or equal to high and if this condition is false we are just going to stop it because there's no use in searching after that in an array there's the element is completely not going to be present in it so next just find the mid so mid is going to be the average of low and high values low plus high by two so this is this is where the mid value is going to be we are going to just continuously keep on finding the mid value until we reach our desired condition so first thing Okay, let's start with a good case. So we're going to do three if conditions when you even you say if it's no problem. So first, if mid is equal to x, okay, that is a middle element equals to the element to be searched, just it. Just stop the uh, come out of the function and just print the element is found. So we're just going to give return mid. So return mid something, it may be return one also, there is not an issue. It's not going to make a huge difference. You can return anything. Just you need to come out of the function and say that the program is element is found. That's what this uh, purpose of it and another if statement so if a of mid so that that's the mid element of the list a of mid is greater than x 
so it means that if the middle element of the list is greater than the element to be searched then we are going to assign high equal to mid minus one okay so i will let me explain if the middle element is greater than the element to be searched that means that the, the element to be searched x is going to lie between the low and till the mid so it's not going to lie between mid till high so we need to alter the high value and we are changing the high value as i equal to mid minus one pretty soon that's it and even assign i equal to mid that's not going to make a huge difference but anyway and just going to copy it it's simple code over here just copy it and paste it again and we're just going to put it's less than and we're going to assign low and we're going to assign plus sign over here so this is because if that mid value if the element to be searched is greater than the mid value that mid element searched will lie between the mid value and the higher most value okay so the higher most value is fixed here and just we need, it's not going to lie between the low zero and the mid so we are going to change the low value as mid plus i mid plus one sorry so that's it's pretty much simple so after this while loop so this condition this is the condition that's going to run multiple number of times till low is less than equal to high our high value is going to get incremented multiple number of times and this and this and suppose if the element uh, to be searched is present this will perform will be performed multiple number of times and until our mid is equal to x this function will keep on running suppose if the if the element is not present and the while loop fails here we need to come out of the function right so we're just going to return zero return zero that's it okay so let's come down to our program outside the function so we're just going to need to call the function and see that c is some random variable c equal to binary search name of the function binary search i'm going to just pass a x and the array element to be searched and number of elements okay so c value c you can take two values one is a bit bit can be any value that's your wish and zero so zero is the key here because that zero is going to indicate whether the element is present or not so if c equal to zero so if c is zero means it's obvious that the element is not found so just print uh, element not present that's it and uh, else else just print element is present that's why i said you can return anything anything for when the element is present we are just you are going to use in the else part suppose if you want to use uh, in the if condition the return mid you need to uh, you need to change the code that makes it so complex for this guy is simple very much simple yeah? so that's it pretty much simple uh, the code is and uh, i think it's clearly explained everything so now can we, let's just run this and see one more look here so let five and we just we need to enter a sorted uh, one one two already one two three four and five and you can see that this is our list enter the element to be searched so first i will enter an element that is present to you can see an element is present it comes in the output and uh, let me enter another one five one two three four and five and then nine okay this is an interesting error i think many would have got the uh, answer okay it says float yeah, i got the error okay, so if you have got the answer for this error really great and if you haven't let me explain it clearly okay so mid equal to low plus i by 2 suppose if the number is perfectly divisible by 2 uh, it's just not it's not going to cause any problem but suppose if that low plus i value is an odd number suppose it's 5 so 5 slash 2 will return 5 slash that slash division will returns 2.5 so 2.5 is a float digit and a r a array of 2.5 so indexes are always whole numbers it's not going to be a form of decimal number so it's so throwing us an error so what you need to do is just put an double slash over here so this will remove the error so even though it's an odd number low plus i is an odd number this double slash 2 will return an whole number 2 so it's always this and the whole number it neglects the decimal point numbers so okay, now let me do the same code i think we entered 1 2 3 4 5 and number Five and number 
greater than not present. So you can see the element not present over here. Okay, so 